Henkele Digital Transformation Journey. Let's take a stroll down the captivating lanes of the Henkel story, a tale that began way back in 1876, when Fritz Henkel and his partners set the stage for something revolutionary. Their brainchild, Henkel M. Psy, stepped onto the scene with a groundbreaking universal detergent based on silicate. What sets it apart? Unlike its counterparts, this heavy-duty hero came neatly packed, challenging the norms of loose sales. Fast forward through the years and you witness the evolution of this German entrepreneurial family and their massive workforce, turning Henkel into a global powerhouse. With three dynamic business units, laundry and home care, adhesive technologies, and beauty care, the Henkel empire grew strong. Imagine sitting down with Dr. Dirk Holbach and Wolfgang Weber, delving into the world of Henkel in the modern era. The year is now, and Henkel's agenda echoes a commitment to sustained success with a sprinkle of sustainability. Karsten Knobel, the CEO of Henkel, lays it out. It's not just about financial gains. They aim to outshine their markets by delivering superior value, differentiating themselves through positive societal impact and fostering a sense of belonging Belonging among their people. Henkel's strategic framework, a six-pillar wonder, becomes their roadmap for purposeful growth. Operating models and a digital supply chain strategy become the secret ingredients, enhancing gross profit margins and solidifying Henkel's brand position. Bruno Piacenza, the executive vice president of laundry and home care, spills the beans on the magic of industry 4.0 technologies and end-to-end -end supply chain connectivity. Costs drop, innovation soars, and the brand stands tall. Now, enter the digital backbone fifth-generation cloud computing, also known as the Henkel Data Foundation. It's the nerve center, processing millions of data assets from every nook and cranny of the Henkel value chain. The tales it unfolds are nothing short of legendary. 1. Next-gen demand sensing, real-time planning fueled by customer demands, big data, and machine insights. Part 2. Sustainability on machine granularity. Real-time sustainability actions, empowering every employee to cut down the CO2 footprint. 3. E2E dispatching and tracking, right-time deliveries predicted with pinpoint precision. 4. Global OEE platform, real-time efficiency insights, revolutionizing shop floor operations. 5. Digitally steered lights out warehouse, a 200,000 pallet warehouse operating in full automatic mode. Henkel's digital transformation isn't just about the numbers, it's about creating value for customers and consumers. It's a strategic priority marked by initiatives to deepen relationships, strengthen brands, foster innovation, and embrace new avenues of growth. And hey, before we move forward, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. You wouldn't want to miss out on the exciting content I've got lined up for you in the future. The expansion of the digital backbone. In the quest to maximize the benefits of their digital backbone, the team at Henkel expanded its functionality to focus on product and process quality in 2013. The initial goal was ambitious, to achieve 100% quality for over 2 billion labeled detergent bottles manufactured annually. After experimenting with high-speed image processing devices overseeing the labeling process, the decision was made in 2014 to globally roll out the technology and connect devices and process data to the digital backbone. This technology, tested in the high-speed production lines, made real-time checks on each product bottle for the correct label positioning and quality. With a successful pilot, the technology was integrated into the digital backbone, creating a dynamic system to ensure perfect quality. Wolfgang Weber, global head of digital supply chain transformation, emphasized its role in fine-tuning machine parameters for optimal results. The device count rapidly increased to over 70 for a swift global rollout, aiming to control the aesthetics of 100% of all products leaving the factories. In 2016, the second level of meter granularity was introduced, and the device count soared to over 2,000. 
Henkel extended its quality control to the contents of the bottles, measuring the single components of the detergent. While the AquaSpec analyzer initially promised innovation, it proved costly and time-consuming. The pilot factories couldn't generate a sufficient return on investment, leading Henkel to repurpose it for verifying raw material quality before production. The digital backbone played a pivotal role in experimenting with and evaluating new technologies. International Engineering Resources coordinated projects aiming to increase overall equipment effectiveness OEE. One notable success was the development of an online efficiency system based on Wonderware technology, measuring the OEE of Henkel's filling lines. Piloted in 2015, it faced initial challenges, but was fully operational by 2016. The European plants saw a complete rollout in 2017, followed by other regions, reaching over 250 fully equipped and connected lines by 2020. The digital supply chain. The company introduced SPOCs, single points of contact, on-site experts nurturing digital initiatives, global tracking with four kites. In 2018, Henkel chose four kites as its global track and trace provider. The system predicted the estimated time of arrival, ETA, using telematics, GPS, and mobile data, and seamlessly integrated with Henkel's transportation management system and SAP platforms. Francisco Garcia, head of international planning and logistics, highlighted the importance of training teams. Fundamental to provide training to our internal logistics and customer service operations teams. The track and trace rollout began in the U.S. in 2018, expanding across Europe in phases. By 2019, the Netherlands, Belgium and Italy were almost covered, with plans to extend coverage to other EU countries in 2020. Francisco Garcia added, Our next goal is to go further and provide the client with access to our track and trace system. Pilot Learn and Scale Up Henkel's unique, vertical horizontal global approach guided its digital journey. It meant testing specific applications, integrating data across the value chain, and scaling up globally. Dirk Holbach, corporate senior vice president of supply chain, stressed the smart combo of top-down and bottom-up approaches. The team embraced a systematic, go-no-go -no -go process, carefully selecting initiatives and steering each application's development through a focused central team. Dirk Holbach emphasized the importance of a global framework and a simple process, saying, We had one global framework and one simple process, leveraging our entire global organization. As the digital wave continued, some initiatives got the green light, while others landed in the no-go bin. Learnings from these experiences shaped the ongoing transformation journey with a focus on continual improvement and staying ahead of the tech curve. After all, in the digital realm, the only constant is change. Building the Data Oasis In 2017, Henkel set out to create a data sanctuary named the Henkel Data Foundation. Initially, it cruised on the Cludera Nime analytics platform, but decided to ride the Microsoft Azure Cloud in 2019, becoming the company's single source of truth, SSOT data platform. Platform. The move connected all the tech dots from SAP and Oracle TMS to data streaming in from factory sensors. By mid-2017, armed with Tableau and Power BI, Henkel assembled a team to whip up reports in supply and demand planning and logistics. Fast forward to 2020, and this platform boasted over 2,500 users and 20,000 daily report access requests globally. Wolfgang Weber's digital team was on a roll, diving into data analytics across domains, predicting the future one byte at a time. The journey went from descriptive analytics to predictive analytics. In 2017, after digging into options, Henkel chose E2 Open Supply Chain Software for demand sensing. This nifty tool blends forecasts with retail point-of-sale data, inventories, and economic indicators, popping out an enriched forecast. The result? 
a machine learning forecasting engine that played the predictive game like a pro. A three-month pilot project kicked off in Spain in 2018, going live in January 2019. As the solution scaled up in 2019 across Europe and North America, it flexed its forecasting muscles, boosting accuracy by over 20% at the SKU level. The mission for 2020, a global rollout with eyes set on slashing working capital by nearly 10%. Fick it before it breaks. Predictive maintenance took the spotlight in 2019 at the Dusseldorf plant. Partnering with a Dutch startup, the global digital team dove into a predictive maintenance tool that reads the digital tea leaves between engines and their PLC overlords. After three months of training the machine learning wizard, the tool was ready for action, predicting engine breakdowns with over 91% accuracy. The result, a nifty boost to the factory's overall equipment effectiveness, OE. For the first time in 2019, we installed learning algorithms that allow us to go beyond visualization and diagnose. We predict future demands and we prescribe user actions such as delivery pattern optimization, shared Tarun Rana, International Digital Transformation Lead, prescribing success with prescriptive analytics. As predictive analytics pilots took off, Henkel also delved into prescriptive analytics. The cost to serve tool, born after six months of internal wizardry, went live in 2019 across 17 countries. This tool became the secret sauce for negotiating strategies with key customers, including Amazon. Amazon is not a traditional retailer. They are a new player in laundry detergent, explained Tarun Rana. The collaboration involved using machine learning to refine an efficient joint distribution network fulfillment center locations, logistics conditions, and more. Henkel wasn't just crunching numbers, it was rewriting the script on how data could be harnessed for better decisions and brighter partnerships. The digital voyage was transforming from a mere reporting tool into a powerhouse of predictive prowess. And Henkel was at the helm, steering into a future where data wasn't just numbers, but a crystal ball for success. Preparing the workforce for the digital transformation. Originally, only a handful of folks in the factories had their hands on the digital backbone. Think plant managers, controllers, and cluster managers. But soon, accessibility expanded to a broader workforce, including shift leaders and sales managers. The goal? Keep a watchful eye on the efficiency of those filling lines. New daily routines kicked off with a quick 20-minute morning huddle on the shop floor. Attendees included the production manager, production engineer, head electrician, an internal logistics specialist, and four sales managers. Armed with insights from the digital backbone, they tackled issues from the last three shifts, implementing lean manufacturing and continuous process quality improvements. Fast forward, and now over 250 intricate filling lines are plugged into the digital backbone, enabling users to track, analyze, and benchmark data in real time from anywhere on the globe. In 2020, Henkel introduced two initiatives, digital gyms, focused on upskilling frontline workers, and a fully integrated connected worker app platform launched in 2021. Digital talent, Expanding the digital backbone posed a challenge for HR, demanding a shift in skill sets, a combination of upskilling existing profiles and bringing in fresh talent was the answer. HR initially targeted the engineering team, retraining engineers with an IT inclination and scouting for new profiles outside the company. Instead of the traditional linear engineer CV, Henkel shifted focus to expertise in supply chain, data analytics, and visualization. The company even created a new breed of digital engineers at its Dusseldorf plant, a blend of chemical engineering and IT expertise. Digital upskilling. Henkel kicked off systematic online tutorials in 2017, zeroing in on digital backbone applications and analytics. This grew into a library of online training sessions and gave birth to the Digital Upskilling Initiative in March 2019. An innovative online learning experience called Maze Plus 10 emerged, aiming to instill an innovation-driven mindset. With Accenture's help, Henkel developed a digital capability framework for each job family. 
These training sessions were offered on a new learning platform, ensuring employees had access to engaging learning experiences and personalized content. The aim? Constant upskilling and learning on demand are tailored to individual needs. Sylvie Nicole, Corporate Senior Vice President of Global Human Resources, emphasized the importance of people in this transformation. With a diverse global team of over 50,000 individuals, Henkel envisions a journey lasting three to five years to equip everyone with the digital skills needed for the future. As part of their 2020 plan, Henkel aims to give all operators access to various learning tools. Vision to i 20 x Looking ahead to the future of the digital supply chain transformation journey, at Henkel, Dirk Holbach is focused on key goals. The plan aims to cut manufacturing and distribution costs significantly, reduce inventory by over 20%, enhance customer satisfaction through improved service levels and on-time delivery, and boost throughput time and line efficiency by up to 30%. Holbach acknowledges the importance of accelerating the digital transformation. He emphasizes the need to leverage the network of fourth industrial revolution lighthouses to adopt a more digitally enabled supply chain. For him, the human factor in change management is crucial for speed. With the plants now equipped with more information, the focus is on empowering employees to make faster decisions based on available data. The company is shifting decision-making power closer to where the information is, such as onto employees' laptops and mobile devices. Holbach recognizes the need to attract digital talent, particularly from younger generations drawn to highly digital businesses. To change perceptions, Henkel aims to proactively communicate its digital projects with universities and the digital community. He underscores that achieving supply chain competitiveness requires digital innovation from production to the end-to-end -end supply chain. This starts with investing in training the entire workforce to ensure they have the necessary capabilities for adopting new technologies. Weber prompts Holbach about 5G, blockchain, and AI-enabled supply demand planning solutions. Holbach emphasizes the importance of determining priorities and selecting partners for these domains to drive effective investments. Despite high automation levels and substantial investments in robotics, Holbach sees room for improvement in touchless factories. The recent COVID-19 crisis spurred the development of digital automation solutions to control social distancing inside factories. He envisions more automation opportunities in material handling and production environments. Holbach prioritizes the expansion of the end-to-end -end modeling of the supply chain aiming to develop a digital twin. He believes that a digital twin with enhanced data density and frequency will enable faster and better decisions, especially in the post-COVID scenario. In conclusion, while embracing new technologies is crucial, Holbach emphasizes the need for effective change management. He stresses the importance of being selective in decisions, avoiding overload, and ensuring clear communication, deployment, and digestion of initiatives. Thanks for watching.